My Lords, you can see it is my deeply held conviction that the current state of affairs is not acceptable. Given that I am the Minister for Counter-Fraud, it feels somewhat dishonest to stay on in that role if I am incapable of doing it properly, let alone defending the, the, our track record. It is, that, it is for this reason that I have sadly decided to tender my resignation as a Minister across the Treasury and Cabinet Office with immediate effect. I would be grateful if my noble Lord would pass this letter on to the Prime Minister at his earliest convenience. It is worth saying that none of this relates to far more dramatic political events being played out across Westminster. This is not an attack on the Prime Minister, and I am sorry for the inconvenience it will cause. Indeed, I think any Prime Minister should be able to reasonably expect that the levers of government were actually connected to delivering services for our citizens. I hope that as a virtually unknown minister beyond this place, giving up my career might prompt others more important than me to get behind this and sort it out. It matters for all the obvious reasons, but there is a penny of income tax waiting to be claimed here if we just woke up. Total fraud loss across government is estimated at 29 billion a year. Of course, not all can be stopped, but a combination of arrogance, indolence and ignorance freezes the government machine. Action taken today will give this government a sporting chance of cutting income tax before a likely May 2024 election. If my removal helps that to happen, it would have been worth it. So it leaves me only to thank the noble Lord, Lord Tunnicliffe, for his courteous but attentive role as my shadow minister of my portfolio, and to thank noble friends, many of whom I know will carry on their scrutiny of this important area. Thank you, and goodbye. My Lords, I think we have just witnessed one of the most dramatic moments we have ever seen in your Lordship's House of a minister who felt his integrity could no longer ensure he remained a member of the government. I don't know if the noble Lord wishes to comment, but there is nobody else to take questions if he just wishes to move the next business. My Lords, we want to take this opportunity to say on behalf of these benches how much we appreciate the honour and integrity that has just been displayed by the Minister. Resignation hasn't yet been accepted, so he still, in a sense, remains the Minister. I don't think anybody could have raised questions more forcefully, more accurately, or more completely than he has. Uh, 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 and uh, I, I just, on a very personal level, want to say how much we will miss the Lord Agnew in his role not the least because of his integrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.